New tonight, one man swimming with family drowned in Volusia County after he was caught in a rip current. It happened in Daytona Beach. Fox 35's Jessica Ely is live there tonight. So Jessica, lifeguards were very busy today. Yeah, they were, Luann. Uh, Volusia County Beach safety officials said they had to save more than 50 people from the water today. They're cautioning anyone who wants to come out to Daytona Beach this holiday weekend to be weary of those riptides. Big waves crashed ashore at Daytona Beach Wednesday afternoon, but that didn't stop beachgoers from hitting the water. The waves were really strong. The many times they flipped me over. Those waves were so strong, they claimed the life of a 43-year-old man visiting from West Virginia. It happened near the area of 500 North Atlantic Avenue. Beach officials say the man got caught up in a rip current. He was pulled from the ocean and then was taken to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced dead. These waves, like especially today, I don't know what was it, but they were very strong. Like you could be like, let's say 35 feet like deep and it would feel like it, the water would get up to like here. Volusia County Beach officials say this should be a warning to anyone headed to the beach for the holiday weekend. They say if you get caught in a rip current, remain calm and swim parallel to the shore until you're out of the current. I would see people like keep going. I'd be like, I would have to back up like because the waves like today crazy. So Beach Patrol says that it is key to watch for red flag warnings. And if you do plan on getting into the water, make sure that you are swimming by those lifeguards. In Daytona Beach, Jessica Ely, Fox 35 News. Jessica, thank you.